Hi everyone, I'm Lim An, who is currently pursuing my Bachelor degree of education in TESOL. In this video, I'm going to show you a photo voice presentation which particularly reflects my teaching and learning beliefs. Be prepared to fix your eyes. So, I went visiting this recreation park the other day, planning to have a little job and exercise after being sedentary for the whole week due to the open and distance learning. I couldn't help but keep taking pictures of these breathtaking sceneries that I am about to share with you. As I mentioned earlier on, I will also relate them with my teaching beliefs, experiences and whatnot. The first picture here shows a walking path in the park. I think that the teaching career is somehow similar to it, in which you are walking on an endless path and probably encounter all sorts of things. During the process, you may face challenges and obstacles, in which your determination shall help you to cope with them. Hence, determination is extremely important when it comes to teaching, as some people may find the patient towards teaching is slowly ebbing away during the process. Nevertheless, there's always both sides of the coin. You will definitely enjoy the euphoric and joyful moment you spend with your students. Let's say helping a student and lead him or her to success. I'm pretty sure that sense of satisfaction is beyond measure and word description. In addition, the seemingly endless path could also reflect my learning process. As the popular adage reads, one can never get overdressed or ever educated. I concur with the idea as I never get satisfied with the knowledge that I have possessed. My curiosity prompts my interest and desire to learn more and share them with everyone who is willing to hear me out. I decided to make my learning a lifelong practice to prepare myself for this rapidly changing world, as the only constant in life is change. Take for instance, I would love to study the latest technologies to be implemented in my teaching so students will find my lesson engaging and thrilling. The second picture here shows two lamp posts. I found that the role of a teacher is similar to a lamppost which is to guide students in the dark and lead them to the correct track. Pedestrians come and go, but lampposts remain, ready to illuminate the path for the next person, similar to a teacher. He or she will be teaching a myriad of students, they graduate and soon have their own lives, but teachers remain in school, ready to impart knowledge into new batches of students welcome them heartily and embrace them with love and patience. It kind of reminds me about the teachers or lecturers that had taught me before. Although we seldom acknowledge the existence of lampposts as we tend to take things for granted when we get accustomed to them, we should actually appreciate the sacrifices made by the teachers who led us to success and greatness. Look at these beautiful flowers I found in the park. I adore whoever spends time taking care of them. I believe that teachers are similar to gardeners who water and nurture the flowers, regardless of their species. While teachers cannot decide or control the students' family background, races, religions, and so forth, he or she can at least provide them with the best fertilizers which are cultivation and education. There is a proverb saying that knowledge is like a garden. If it is not cultivated, it cannot be harvested. I certainly agree with it as one should devote ample time and energy to their study so they could procure success as no pain, no gain. Though the pro process might be tough and desperating, we should focus on our goals and walk towards it. Could you imagine the gardeners walk diligently to turn an infertile land into a beautiful garden we see today? 
I believe that they could actually picture and foresee these charming flowers bloom with grass. We shall keep our eyes on the prize and be optimistic while we attempt to achieve something. I happen to notice this huge signboard that display the rules and regulations for the park visitors. Personally speaking, I think that certain restrictions and constraints are necessary in a classroom. It is important for teachers to draw the line so they could create a positive and conducive atmosphere for learning. Behavioral rules should be relevant, meaningful and avoid possible misconduct that interferes with learning. I would certainly introduce some rules to my students so they could achieve the maximum learning outcomes. For me myself, I have certain personal rules that facilitate my learning. I try to improve my self-discipline by adhering to those rules. To illustrate, I make sure I do revision for the lectures and complete the academic tasks before I spend time on leisure activities. In my humble opinion, these rules serve the purpose of improving the quality of my life, which also allowed me to enjoy higher levels of happiness and fulfillment. I heartily encourage everyone to implement some rules into your learning, and you will be impressed by the result. What a wonderful day! Look at those fluffy clouds. I was so fortunate to step outdoors in such pleasant weather. I hold the belief that we should be grateful for good things that happen to us every now and then. In teaching, we should be thankful when students or learners are willing to pay attention and participate proactively in our class. Besides, we should also be grateful when students are able to understand the lesson taught. Though these are some basic responsibilities as a student, we should still appreciate their hard work and learning attitudes. Same goes to the learning process. One should be grateful for having the opportunity to learn and study. We are fortunate enough as we have a healthy mind to learn. We don't have to worry about our next meal. We didn't suffer from physical illness and so forth. It would be great if everyone realized this simple matter and works together to make this world a better place with the knowledge we learned. That brings us to the end. Thank you so much for your interest and attention. Goodbye and take care.